Hi, I'm Vic, and welcome to Geeko Farm, where we do things differently. We're in lockdown again. I don't know as you've heard, uh, New Zealand, level 4, COVID, yeah. So the first thing everyone wants is um, hand sanitizer. So here I am brewing hand shine, uh, I mean moon sanitizer. Um, so molasses, one part water, five parts, ferment for a few weeks. Oh yeah, a bit of uh, orange juice, get the acidity right. Then we distill it. Normally I do this in the kitchen. However, there have been complaints about the smell. So today we're doing it outside. Basically the same deal, but I've put a couple of towels on the outside of the uh, old still to help keep the heat in. The tricky part is keeping the electricity and the water separate, particularly as I haven't got a sink to drain it into. So I've put the water downhill and it can just sort of like, there's a drain down there, it can fall down that. Meanwhile, electricity up this corner, which is uphill. Hopefully the two will never meet. And why the silly headgear? Well, frankly, this can get pretty boring once you've got it all set up and it's running nicely. So um, listen to my favorite podcasts, things like Gastropod and oh yeah, no such thing as a fish, awesome stuff. When the still comes up to around 50, we start getting alcohol distilling over. And um, yeah, as is traditional, I take the first 50 cc's and we use that for cleaning windows and putting in the fondue burner. At the moment, the water is just like flowing round and round in there and it's plenty cold enough while things get going but later on we'll um, turn the hose on and things can just uh, dribble over the edge that way we'll uh, get a constant replacement with uh, cold water so now that's rocking time to go and have a chat on this beautiful spring day so the obvious question well, why has Geeko Farm obviously your favorite YouTube channel um, not been on air recently. Well, um, nothing to do with the pandemic, I'm afraid. I've uh, I've been in hospital again uh, several times, in fact. Uh, I thought I had backache, went to the dock, and no, apparently, kidney stones. Um, so, went in for an operation, and they couldn't get them out. And so they put in some kind of bypass, and I had to wait for a while. And then I had to go back into surgery. Uh, ah, didn't take well to the bypass, so I had to go into hospital for that. And then eventually everything settled down and they did an ordinary boring um, laser blasty little bastard stones thing. And um, I'm, I'm now all right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, smells like bananas foster. A couple of these drums of stuff to go through, put them through the first pass. Uh, which is called the stripping pass because we strip out most of the water and then we'll get on to the exciting bit of uh, making some rum that actually has some real flavour. No, no, not black flavour. This is um, this is moon sand, uh, hand chart, big hand, uh, coat of figure. So we got this lot, bit murky, but it'll do for the first pass. And then I just sort of like vent the uh, spent stuff down that drain there, and then. Um, Refill it from the uh, next bucket. Put in some of this anti-foaming agent. I know we're not uh, letting the yeast get in there and cause everything to bubble up, but um, nobody wants a few things to all do they? Morning. Well, here we are, day two, ready to do the uh, the second pass of the run. Uh, we've got about ten liters of stuff gone through the first pass and I've cleaned out the still and I've still got all my marbles and we'll uh, mix it all in there and we'll see what we've got because everyone wants to know the concentration we'll have a look all right so we're hovering around can you see that there about 30 percent by volume alcohol this isn't just a vanity thing because we're going to separate this out into lots of little containers and um, now I know how much alcohol I've got, I know how many little containers to lay out, given that we're going to get something about 70-80% by volume. So why all the little bottles? Well, we actually want to make some rum that tastes good. And unfortunately there's a lot of stuff in the brew that doesn't taste good. So what we do is we simply separate it into little bottles and only keep the ones that taste good. 
Uh, the rest of it isn't wasted, that just gets put through uh, a big rectifying still, which turns the stuff into neat alcohol and use that for liqueurs and fruit preservation and stuff like that. Also good for degreasing machinery and killing brain cells. So now we're um, giving them a bit of a sniff. This one is really singeing the old nose hairs. Um, but it smells a bit different to what it did um, when it started. So we're going to assume there's a change in flavour and swap bottles. When the uh, temperature is reading 85, uh, like pretty much is now, I've noticed a curious thing, and that is that uh, you end up with something about 85% ABV coming out the spout. I think maybe we'll keep this one for moon sanitizer. Hey, it's locked down. I'm allowed to have a bit of a beard. Yeah, that's getting pretty close to being finished. Temperatures approaching 96 Celsius at the top of the still. Generally after that you're not going to get much that's got any good flavour out of it. And we'll uh, put it in a bottle and next time we're making hand sanitizer, we'll just uh, you know, strip the alcohol out of it again. It's been quite an exhausting day, so for now, that's your lot, down on Geeko Farm.